And I have people honking support. Uh, I've been able to pray for lots and lots of people, encourage people. Welcome back. It's a Good Friday tradition here in central Illinois. That's right. A Pekin man has been dressing up as Jesus and carrying a handmade wooden cross across town for nearly three decades. Alyssa Paldos met the man behind the message and joins us with that story. Good morning, Alyssa. Yeah, hey Mark and Shelby, good morning. That's right, for 28 years, no matter the weather or battles with illness, Paul Helmig has carried that 10 foot tall cross through Pekin for four miles every year on Good Friday. Now, yep, some people call him crazy, but this year he wants you to know why he does it. It's a sight you can't miss. Every year come Good Friday in Pekin, drivers stop and stare at the face of 65 year old Paul Helmig dressed as a very convincing Jesus. Rain or shine, I've never missed. It's rained on me twice in all these years. It's snowed on me. Uh, 28 degrees is the coldest it's ever been. Before this Good Friday tradition got started, Helmick had his own cross to bear. I had a 25-year alcohol problem. Uh, I had a 15 years of uh, being stoned. Uh, I went 15 years without being stone, uh, without being straight a day. Drugs, alcohol, Helmig used to walk the streets of Pekin with a much different purpose. I expected to be dead by 25. Call it divine intervention, Helmig says a friend at work mentioned something about faith that stuck with him. I wanted to encourage people. My problem was I always looked at Christianity as you had to be a cookie cutter, squeaky clean little that's not what it is. Christianity is not religion. It's a relationship to the Father through Christ Jesus. That's all it is. Now in remission after a scare with stage three colon cancer and later kidney cancer, life has continued to present Paul with more crosses to bear. But he now takes them all in stride. And I want them to see Jesus. I don't want them to see Paul. I can do nothing for you. The only thing I got is a message and that he loves you no matter where you're at. And Paul's walk will begin around noon today at Bridgeway Church in Pekin. And this year he's asking everyone who struggles with addiction to come out to Court Street where there will be resources available. We're live this morning in Pekin. Alyssa Paldo, WYZZ News. Back over to you guys. Such a powerful message there.